G'day folks, it's Rob here. Bit of a change of venue for today's clip. We're up in the house. This is actually my makeshift office or dining room. Um, I'll be moving downstairs once we renovate, but for now I'm stuck here in the dining room. I wanted to run through a couple of seeds that we've been gifted by people out there, some we've bought and some that we've saved, um, that we'll be planning out, hopefully, if we can squeeze them in, for our warm weather crops. I also wanted to announce the winner of the giveaway. Um, we held a bit of a giveaway uh, because you guys basically subscribed. Um, we've had over 75,000 people subscribe now, so we thought it was time that we say thank you and offered up a $25 gift card or gift voucher for Root and Ramble wear. Um, they do beanies and shirts and that sort of things. We had such a great response. There was a couple of hundred people responding or wanting to enter. So we doubled the amount of gift vouchers. We're doing two, two $25 gift vouchers to Root and Ramble now. The winners are um, Craig, and also a Steve P. Um, these guys have already been um, contacted via email and I'm also gonna announce it on Facebook as well. So congratulations guys. I do hope you um, pick yourself out a lovely t-shirt from the fantastic folks at Root and Ramble. So um, I still just wanna thank you guys once more um, for the, the friends we've made, the people who've come along, um, even you folks, there's been a couple out there who've been a little bit hairy to deal with. Um, it's been a great learning experience with me, uh, for me, sorry, and also, you know, I've made loads of contacts along the way. So thank you very much to everyone who's come along and, you know, decided to dis um, subscribe to our channel and watch our clips. And if you can't tell, um, I'm lousy with the flu at the moment, so the head's a bit fuzzy. Anyway, uh, enough of that. Um, congrats, folks, and I'll bring you down and we'll have a bit of a look at the um, seeds that we're hopefully going to be able to squeeze into the patch. So to begin with, we have some ginger. This is some ginger that we grew in the aquaponics, or some of it could have come from the soil barrel. Unfortunately, it got mixed up in a basket. Um, we have some nice sets like this that we'll be planting out. I'm only going to be doing um, one, maybe two uh, flood and drain barrels in the aquaponics system, and I'm setting up some dedicated wicking beds for the ginger and gallangal and turmeric. Um, this season, so we've got some of those bits and pieces we need to plan out. I've got a load of gallangal and turmeric still in the ground out the back, so I'll just um, grab what I need from there to pop um, into those new beds. Um, I'll run through what we've saved first. I would like to plan out some more toad scare, um, skin melons. They're also known as Christmas melons or pie de sapo. Um, also some of our Simba bush beans. These guys grow really well for us here. We're on to our fourth or fifth generation. Always have great results with these guys. Um, some mammoth spineless okra uh, that I saved seeds from last season. Um, some of these will be given away, but also to I'd probably put about two or three plants out, not too many. The girls aren't huge fans of it, but I like it. I actually like it as a breakfast, um, just walking around the patch and eating it raw. Also, some more of our um, snake beans. These guys here, there's a bit of a toss up between these guys and um, some other snake beans that we're thinking about um, growing, which you'll see from a seed supplier in a minute. So I'm not too sure which will grow yet, depends how much room we've got. And I've also got a load of Egyptian spinach seed. So some of this stuff here um, will definitely be planted out more than likely in the aquaponics because it grows really well in there. Um, we'll go through the gifted seeds. I've got some, there's a very lovely lady by the name of Coralite who has given me a few different seeds um, over the past 12 months. Um, I'm growing her Malabar spinach out the front at the moment and she's given me some Indie Rose tomato. She had very few seeds of this and she was so generous she's given me three or four of them. Thank you very much Coralie. And I've also got some Marigold Large and some Red Sunflower from her. So we'll pop them around the place. Um, Mary gave me these last year. Um, she's a YouTube watcher. G'day Mary. Um, she's down south in South Australia and we've got a Charleston Grey and an orange yellow um, watermelon. These guys I really do want to pop out as well. Um, at least one of them. It depends on space. Ideally I'd have them in the front garden but because there's going to be earth moving or potentially earth moving equipment running around I can't have too many sprawling plants so we'll just see if we can um, fit one of these guys in. I'll hop online and see which is the, has the smallest growth habit. Uh, ice plant. 
from Steve on Instagram. Um, I've tried to grow this a few times. I had a couple germinate, but they pretty much all died off straight away. So I don't know if it's because we're a little bit too hot here or I didn't have them in the um, right environments. So I will give these another go. So thank you very much, Steve. I really do appreciate them. Um, and also Ray. Ray, um, a local chap, um, he's, we've met up a few times now, thank you very much. The chap who gave me the Saba nut, um, some Rosella seeds, I'm definitely going to be trying some of these. I think they may fruit a little bit earlier than the variety we grew last year. The variety we grew, we got fruit, uh, I think it was towards the end of autumn, start of winter. So we'll have a crack at these guys. Um, now to seed suppliers. These guys here um, hunt down rare seeds from around the world and then um, share them around oh, for a price. I did have to buy them. Um, green Rosella, um, interested to see how they go. Some Oxhorn Yellow um, Capsicum, sweet, uh, sweet pepper. Um, they're supposed to grow fairly large, a little bit larger than our bull's horn. So I'll have a crack at some of them. Um, I'm pretty much all sorted for sweet peppers or capsicums for the rest of the year, but I thought I'd try something different. Some water onion, these guys are supposed to be a purple salad-like onion and they're a spring sowing, so um, we should be able to pop them in now and get away with them. Some carriage melon from India, uh, I haven't seen this variety before, um, they looked interesting so I thought I'd have a crack at them. Definitely will be planting these as well as the tiny watermelon. Um, these will probably put on the trellis out the front so we'll be able to fit these guys. If they're the style of watermelon I'm thinking of, they don't tend to sprawl too much so might be a good one for us to trellis. Also got some Pusa Asti carrot. This is the black, so-called black carrot. Um, I have already ordered some previously from a different supplier and unfortunately um, the seeds were mixed up from the people they bought them from. Um, so hopefully these um, will grow true to type and we'll get some black carrots. And I'll just pick up the packet I dropped. These guys here are Globe Paprika um, tomatoes. They're the only other tomato I'll probably grow um, other than the indigo ones from Coralie. I thought I'd have a crack with these, probably one of each of these tomatoes because we don't have a lot of room and they do tend to sprawl a bit. Um, so I'll, I'll see how they go. Uh, they may not be, they come from Europe apparently, so I don't know how well they're going to do in our slightly warmer climate. Um, from seed suppliers, we'll start with um, Sandy's seeds. This is Sandy from Forget Me Not Seeds. G'day Sandy. Um, she had the, the yard long um, snake or climbing bean. So uh, it's a bit of a toss up between these and the ones that I know will grow well. So I might have a crack at these and we'll see how we go. Um, another one from her is a dwarf bush bean. I thought I'd have a crack at these as well as the Simba beans that we've saved seeds from. Um, well, these guys will probably end up going into the aquaponics and the Simbas I might put out in a wicking bed out the front. Uh, also too, some rabbit ear lettuce. We're going to have a crack at these guys because they're a bit slow, slower to bolt apparently. Um, they don't set seed as fast. And being a warmer climate, I'm interested to see how they'll go in our slightly warmer um, spring weather. And again, I've already grown some of these and they're fantastic. The Pak Choi Tender White from Forget Me Not. Um, we've harvested a few of these already from the aquaponics and they've grown really well. So that's from um, Forget Me Not. Um, Fair Dinkum seeds, we've grown a, a few of their bits and pieces in the past. Um, this year the only thing I'll be putting in is some toothache plant. Um, this stuff is um, interesting to give people who are unsuspecting. It basically numbs your mouth. Um, hence toothache plant. Uh, so we definitely want to put some of these in, not because we have loads of cavities or anything, but just a different um, beneficial um, insect attractant with the flowers. And also, yeah, I'd like to um, treat a few people to some numb gums when they visit. A couple from the seed collection, uh, Calendula officinalis. Uh, I did have this popping up as a volunteer a few years back but for some reason it hasn't, um, yeah, the last two years it hasn't popped up again. So uh, I'll definitely be sowing some of these guys out. And from the seed collection, we'll also be putting out some early wonder beetroot. These guys, beetroot, have always done really well for me. So um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to finish off about, um, yeah, that whole packet, probably sow them all out over the course of the season. This last packet is from Green Harvest, one of my favorite seed suppliers. They also do planting material. We've got um, turmeric originally came from these guys, yakon, water chestnuts, um, the Okinawan spinach and whatnot. So really do like using these guys. Uh, 
They also list a lot of information on the front of their packets which comes in handy. Uh, for us here you can see sow all year round except for in areas with very cold winters then you sow in spring. They're yeah, just a good all round company I think. I also like that they show a best sowing before date. I have seen some people that have an expiry date on their seeds. Seeds don't really expire folks, they will have a, a, a degraded germination rate. You will get less um, germinating as the seed gets older. So that's the only reason you put something on there, just to give you a rough idea on when you can expect the germination rate to um, slow down a bit. So there you go. Um, just, just so you don't think I'm playing favorites, there are other seed companies I do use. Um, there's Boondi Seeds on eBay and there's also Eden Seeds um, here locally that um, I also buy seeds from. Anyway, there you go. There's a bit of a look at um, the seeds that hopefully we'll be able to squeeze in around the place. Now, like I said with the okra, there won't be massive crops, maybe one or two plants. Um, the same with the beans, only a couple here and there. Things like the calendula and the other flowering plants, I'll be able to sort of um, intersperse between other um, sowings uh, just to help to break up the environment, helps to, to distract um, insects that may want to um, eat my plants. I'd prefer to eat them myself, so yeah. One packet of seeds I forgot to pull out was um, cucumbers from Ruben. Thank you very much, mate. He's been sending me some absolute gems over the last couple of years that he's collected on his travels. So there's a um, Vietnamese cucumber that I'd like to plant in the aquaponics and see if we can get that growing trellised up over the hoops or just under the hoops using some tomato clips. And yeah, we'll see how that goes in there. Um, I need to get some more little baggies to um, bag up fruit to save them from the fruit fly. But yeah, hopefully they'll do really well. Also want to thank you folks who have sent me seeds, um, sometimes anonymously through the mail. While I don't get to sow all the seeds out that I do receive from you kind folks, um, some of them do find new homes. When people come to the house, Ray can attest to this, I'm, I'll bring out the seed box and people can rifle through there and you know pick out a couple to try themselves. Some people have found seeds they've been looking for for years that way, so I figure I might as well share the love around. Chances are though, they will be sown out at some point in time. So yeah, keep an eye on the channel and you may see some of your seeds growing uh, down the track. So I hope you've enjoyed the look of the seeds that we're sowing out this season. And if you're into urban farming, you can hit that little subscribe button up there and you'll be sent an email whenever we upload a clip to YouTube, not just growing in the soil, but also to composting and worms and aquaponics and things like that as well. I do hope everyone is well and happy, definitely feeling better than I am, and that your gardens are booming, and I will catch you next clip. Cheers, folks.